Hey there, welcome back to my kitchen. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving if you do celebrate Thanksgiving. Today we are going to be making some skillet recipes. I think all of these are super easy to make so I do hope you enjoy them. Let's go ahead and get started and I will show you what I made. First up today, we're gonna make this Italian sausage and pepper skillet recipe. I have shared this on my channel before, but I made it in a crock pot, so first thing I'm doing is just adding in a little bit of olive oil into my skillet. I let that warm up, and now I'm just taking a package of brats. I like to use the beer brats. Those are my favorite flavor-wise. I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of those in there and let them brown up. Over to my cutting board, I am slicing up one green bell pepper, and I'm also slicing up one yellow onion. You're also gonna need one colored pepper. I had some red pepper in the freezer, so I just went ahead and used that. Now I am just flipping those brats over so the opposite side can brown up as well. And then once it's browned, I'm just going to take all of those out, remove them to a plate for just a minute, and we're gonna go ahead and get started on our peppers. I added another tablespoon or so of olive oil into my pan and I did let that heat up before adding in my peppers and my onion. I'm gonna let these cook in here for about 10 minutes or so until they are getting some nice color and they're nice and tender. Now you're gonna wanna add one small jar of pizza sauce. You can use spaghetti sauce too if you want, but I just think that using pizza sauce makes this taste even better. For seasonings, I'm adding in a half teaspoon of garlic salt, a fourth teaspoon to a half teaspoon of pepper, and a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna get that mixed together really well, and then I'm going to add my brats back in here. I'm just adding a lid on there and we're gonna let these cook for about five minutes or so and then I'm going to flip them all over in the pan and just kind of mix up my peppers a little bit to make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom. I'm gonna cover those once again and let them cook for another five minutes or so until they are completely cooked through. Tonight we're eating them in brioche hot dog buns but you can also eat this over egg noodles, rice, Riced cauliflower if you like to do lower carb. So many different options for these. Here's what my finished plate looked like. I'm really sorry about the lighting. It was really cloudy this day, so not the best video. But this was super good. As you can see, I add mozzarella cheese over the top. I served it with some french fries. But this really is a very simple, delicious meal. Up next, we are making this gnocchi and bean skillet dinner. Into my skillet, I am adding one pound of ground beef. I'm using a pretty lean ground beef. I'm also adding in half of a yellow onion that I chopped up. Once my ground beef is cooked, I am just gonna go ahead and remove that into a bowl for right now. I wanna use the same pan to cook my gnocchi in. I added another tablespoon of olive oil and let that heat up before adding it in. And then I just kind of broke it up in there, that way it could all brown up really nicely. I let my gnocchi brown up in here for about six, seven minutes until I noticed it had gotten some good color on it. At that point, I added in a tablespoon of minced garlic and I let that all cook together for another 30 seconds. Next, I'm adding in one can of cannellini beans that I drained and rinsed, one can of diced tomatoes, a fourth cup of frozen spinach, and then also adding in my ground beef and onion from earlier. Give that a good mix together, and if you're wondering about the gnocchi, it is still kind of hard at this point. Cooking it by itself does soften it a little bit, but we're gonna let it cook in here a little bit longer, and it's really gonna soften up with the juices from the tomatoes, so it will be just fine. Mm -hmm. 
To season this up, I'm using about a half teaspoon of oregano, a fourth teaspoon of black pepper, a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of basil, and about a fourth teaspoon of salt. This is optional, but you can also add some red pepper flakes in there. I did add just a little bit of that just to give it a slight kick. Be sure to adjust all these seasonings to your taste as well. Just because I added a certain amount of seasoning doesn't mean that you can't add more or less. I let that sit on the stove altogether for about five to 10 more minutes until the gnocchi was nice and tender. And now I'm just adding a handful of shredded mozzarella cheese over the top. Once that cheese has melted, you can go ahead and plate this. I did just add some Parmesan cheese over the top. It was definitely a different way to have gnocchi and I really enjoyed it. This meal is very filling though, so do keep that in mind. Up next, we are making this creamy chicken and mushroom skillet. I made this on Sunday for Sunday dinner and it was absolutely perfect. To start, I have two chicken breasts here that I have sliced in half. And then over into my bowl, I'm adding a half cup of all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Give that a good mix and then we are going to coat our chicken with this flour mixture. I'm just taking that chicken breast and sticking it right in that flour mixture, making sure to cover both sides and the edges very well. You will also need to chop up half of a yellow onion and then slice up one eight ounce package of mushrooms. I do personally remove the stems just because I'm not a fan of the texture, but you can leave the stems on if you'd like. Over to a nice large skillet, I am using my big cast iron. I melted two tablespoons of butter and added in two tablespoons of olive oil. I let those completely heat up and then I added my chicken in there. And I'm going to cook this for about three to four minutes on each side until my chicken has cooked all the way through. Now that the chicken is fully cooked, I'm just removing that over to a plate for right now. Into the same skillet, I'm adding in my sliced mushroom and chopped onion. There should still be plenty of butter and oil in here, but if you feel like it's a little dry, you can add some more. I let those cook in here for about five to seven minutes until they were nice and tender and had started to get some color on them. Next, I'm adding in one tablespoon of minced garlic and I'm gonna let that cook for an additional 30 seconds or so. Next, add in two cups of chicken broth. I did use the low sodium, but you can use regular if you prefer. I'm just gonna mix that together really well and make sure to scrape the bottom a little bit to get all that flavor up. Next, add in a half cup of heavy cream. About one teaspoon of dried thyme and give that another good stir to combine. Now that this is nice and hot and bubbling in the skillet, in this little tiny bowl, I added two teaspoons of cornstarch with just a little bit of water, just enough to get it mixed together. I'm gonna pour that right in here to this skillet, give it a good stir and just let this thicken up for a few minutes. I 
I did give it a taste and added some more salt and pepper in. Definitely be sure to taste it and adjust your seasonings. After you season, you can go ahead and add your chicken back in and just give it a second to warm through. I did notice at this point I did forget an ingredient, so if you want to, you can add in half of a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Honestly, I forgot to use it and this meal still turned out absolutely beautiful. I made some mashed potatoes on the side and I also made some broccolini. You can add this creamy gravy mixture over top of your mashed potatoes and it is so good all together. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to brighten up the comments with your flower and I will see you guys back here next time. Bye!